The next anime we're going to review is Cowboy Bebop. Now, this anime was so fucking good. I absolutely loved the way it was drawn. Now, I have one complaint about Cowboy Bebop. I've got one complaint. Hear me out, chat. Hear me out. So they introduced, within the first or second or third episode, like it was really early on in the series, they introduced this character named Vicious. And they uh, suggest that, uh, what's his name? Spike. Uh, Spike has kind of like a dark past or some shit. He's almost like some sort of vampire or something, or he used to be. Like he had some sort of immortality and he was involved in killings or something? They didn't really explain that very well. Uh, maybe I'm just not remembering it very well. I really wish they would have dove into that a little bit further. I wish that we would have learned a little more about the lore between Spica and Vicious. They only had a few episodes that really talked about it. But you know what? I'm nitpicking here. I thought it was a great uh, anime. It started off with a bang too. Like, you're in fucking outer space. They're bouncing in between fucking, like, all kinds of planets. They're between, like, Earth and Mars. Earth is basically destroyed because apparently, like, 75 years ago or some shit, the moon exploded. Long story short, a lot of people now live on Mars. And it's pretty dope. Uh, they meet some kid that lives on Earth still and pick her up. What was her name? Uh, she was funny as fuck. Started in Tijuana. <laughs> Uh, Ed. Yeah, Ed. They pick up Ed. They pick up Ed, and she's super cool. I liked her a lot. She was awesome. I love the doggo, too. The doggo was amazing. And I can see why a lot of anime nerds have corgis now as pets. It totally makes sense. All the characters have a weird past that they can't let go of. Like, Ed has a weird relationship with her father. Faye Valentine doesn't remember her past. Jet was super dope, too. I really like Jet. Um, I forget what his past was. He used to be a cop or something, right? So yeah. Basically, all these motherfuckers team up. And they just start doing, like, bounty hunter jobs, basically. And making money and shit. And they end up becoming, like, a little family. It's a fun anime to watch. In the end, like I said, I wish they would have talked a little bit more. The, uh, evil fucking killer syndicate. Syndicate, whatever it was called. I think at the end of the day, if I'm gonna score in Cowboy Bebop... I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It was really fucking good. The music is amazing. Um, it was also just very well drawn, too. I love the drawing. Is that how you say it? That's how you say Samurai Shampoo? Anyways, I'm gonna keep saying it wrong. Uh, just for the sake of getting through this uh, anime review. So this is the most recent anime I watched. Um, I thought it was fucking awesome. I actually really, really liked it a lot. Um, there was three main people in it. It was, uh, okay, Mugen, Fu, and Jin. Mugen, Fu, and Jin. Those are the main people. Mugen was like the, cra the guy that had like the super crazy, like uh, unorthodox, uh, like, moves, you know? Like, he was all over the place. I love Mugen. Uh, Jin, he was more, like, the, the fundamental, you know, uh, player. I'm trying to think of an example between, like, two Tekken players. What would you say? Jin is more like, uh, like, Jimmy J? You think, J yeah, Jin would be Ni. Yeah, Ni or Jimmy J. Uh, I think Mugen would maybe be, um, that Yoshi player. What's his name? You know who I'm talking about? The Yoshi player? I think he's signed with Equinox now. Yeah, ear musician. Oh, ear musician! Eye musician! Damn it, Jesus, you made me say the wrong thing. Yeah, so eye musician is Mugen. Uh, Jin would be Jimmy J or Ni. Nee. So, I love these guys. They were awesome, okay? It starts off with them wanting to fight and kill each other, but the girl convinces them not to and to help them on, this, on her journey, right? Um, and it was just really funny. Like, it had a lot of funny... Uh, there's just a lot of funny, like, different parts in the show that happen. Like, the eating contest. I love the fucking scene with the eating contest. That was hilarious. Fu ends up winning the 15-year-old chick. <laughs> that was fucking tight. Um, there was another guy that they introduced later on in the show. Okuru? I think I'm saying that right? Um, he was, like, a bow guy. He was pretty dope. He was, like, running from the law. 
I guess he like killed a couple security guards because they were responsible for burning down his village. It's a long story. But they run into that guy and he's like really fucking like good. Beats the shit out of every. Uh, Mo he only fights you, Mugen, right? Did he ever? I don't think he ever fought Jin. Um, but then at the very end of the show, there's a pretty hype fight between Peria. Am I saying that guy's name right? Kage, Kage Taki, Kage, <laughs> um, between him and Jin, and also Mugen, Mugen ends up fighting this other dude that's like out for blood that he had like some beef with from the beginning of the show. So it's like this ultimate anime fight at the end, right? Like everybody's fucking doing, you know, like crazy shit flying through the air. It ends pretty hype. I was really worried at the end that um, they were both gonna die. I thought Kage, I thought Kage killed Jin. And then I thought that uh, Mugen was about to die by the hands of that other dude that had the beef with them from like the first episode or whatever, or before that, you know? And I was like, damn, this really sucks. But they all end up living and it's kind of like a happy ending. They end up going their own separate ways, which is so funny because at the end of the show, they're all like fucking crying and happy and shit because they're like real friends. I was like, well, I guess I get it, you know? That's what we all have to do when we become adults, right? We don't all get to hang out and go on journeys together forever. But it was a really cool show. I really like Samurai. That ba yeah, the baseball episode was pretty funny. I really liked it. Um, next, oh, we have to give him the score. What are we gonna score this one? What's the score? I think I'm gonna give Samurai Shampoo an eight and a half out of 10. So I'm giving all of these animes high scores and I'll tell you why. Because they're all top tier animes. So we started off with only the best. So I'm giving all these high scores, but I feel like it's justifiable.